We've now talked about two secret mounts, and to continue along that theme, I thought to introduce to you, if you don't already know it, the Fathom Dweller. The Fathom Dweller was the very first secret puzzle mount introduced to WoW, and it was back in 7.0 at Legion launch. Getting to the mount is rather simple and involves unlocking a secret world boss, Cosmoth the Hungering. Upon unlocking the hidden boss, Cosmoth will trigger the world quest Danger Cosmoth the Hungering in the Broken Isles, which resets every other week. Upon defeat, Cosmoth will drop either the Fathom Dweller Mount or the Hungering Claw Pet. The world quest itself should tell you the current reward. Cosmoth will reset every two weeks, so you can come back and kill him again to obtain the other reward after the first time. Once unlocked, you don't have to go through the puzzle to get him every other week. Do note that unlocking the puzzle is character bound, so Kuzumoth will only be visible to the character that unlocked him, and he will drop the same reward for everyone on a particular day. Meaning, even if you do unlock him on another character, that character will still get the same reward from killing him as the first character during that reset. Overall, what you need to do is find and click on 10 orbs around the Broken Isles, not unlike the pages for the Riddler's Mindworm, except this is on the Broken Isles and not the entirety of Azeroth. Even if the orbs are a bit difficult to get to, in current retail with flying, collecting all of them should be easy and doable within an hour or so. If you're short on time or for the sake of convenience, here's an overview of the locations and coordinates of all the orbs. Remember to collect them all in the correct order. However, you do have to perform a few other actions before you can actually start collecting the orbs. To begin the hidden path to unlock Kuzumoth and begin your hunt for the orbs, you must first find Drag Thul in his encampment on the Broken Shore. He can be found on the coordinates 37.45, 71.64. Talk to him then, until all options are exhausted and he tells you to bugger off. Talking to him will open a cave to you at the location 58.53 on the Broken Shore. The cave is slightly hidden, but easy to recognize as the inside walls are seemingly supported by a huge ribcage of bones. Below the furthest right one, you'll find a mound of mud. Loot it and you'll obtain a weathered relic. With the relic on hand, return to Drakthul, who will now have new dialogue options. Keep poking him and asking him questions until he again tells you to go away. After being dismissed twice, the orbs around the Broken Shore are now clickable, and the hunt begins. Be aware that like the pages for the Riddler's Mindworm, you must click the orbs in the correct order. You cannot go about it randomly. Fear not for your time though, at least this hunt is limited to the Broken Isles, so it won't take long. The very first orb you need to find is located on the coordinates 37.96, 37.41 in Azuna. You find the orb inside a cave, which is hidden away beneath a tree and some bushes. Just jump through the bushes to get into the cave. Once inside, you find the first orb by a fountain at the end of the cave. Click the orb, and that's one down. The second orb is hidden in a cave on the road between Stormheim and Soroma at the location 32.92, 75.90 on the Stormheim map. Covering the cave is a big tree with purple reddish leaves, and once you walk in, you'll be faced with Kangax, a banshee which steals a bit of damage. Even if you kill him, he will respawn immediately, so I recommend CCs, sneaking past, or killing him three times. Or let him take you out and come back as a ghost to click the orb. Everything works. You find the orb inside a bag right behind Kangax. To find the third orb, you must venture to Valshara. On the coordinates 41.51, 81.18, you find another cave hidden by a tree and bushes, red ones this time, and inside, by an arcane servitor, you find the orb. The mob isn't difficult to take down, especially if you're max level. 
Okay, so the fourth orb is a little tricky, as it's hidden in a cave underwater. The cave is located on the broken shore map at the coordinates 29.16, 78.57, between some rocks. Of course, because this is supposed to be a secret, the cave is in fatigued waters, so flying there and then diving underwater at the location is recommended. Also, if you're a druid or have a water mount, it'll be even faster. It took me a few attempts to find it, but it's definitely doable without a swimming potion. Once you're in the cave, swim all the way to the end and look for a tent. Underneath it, you'll find the orb. I advise you to avoid the steam vents surrounding the tent as they hurt. At the halfway point at number 5, you find the orb inside a cave again in Azuna. The coordinates are 59.37, 13.13. .13 and the cave is hidden by some mana crystals and withered trees this time. Find the round braided dome at the back of the cave and the orb should be inside it. Click it and onto orb number 6. The sixth orb again gets a little tricky. It's found in an underwater cave at the coordinates 67.4, 14.7 on the Broken Isles map. So zoom out and find it to the north of Shield's Rest in Stormheim. Once you are there, swim down and search for an impaled, toothless Great White. He's alive, but he won't attack you. And the cave entrance should be hidden underneath him. Inside the cave, you find the orb in the middle of a small island of sand. The orb will again be surrounded by hurtful steam vents, so be careful. Click the orb and let's move on to number 7. Back on land, you find the seventh orb in High Mountain at the coordinates 55.84, 38.47, in a cave hidden behind some bushes. Don't make the mistake of going into the obvious cave right in front of you. No, no, you want the hidden entrance. Once you've found it, the orb is inside one of the skulls in piles of bones to the side. The eighth orb is back in Azuna, again, in a cave beneath a bunch of trees and bushes. The coordinates are 54.02, 26.18 this time. At the back of the cave you find some shrubs and ferns under which the orb is hidden. Click it and move on to the final two orbs. The ninth orb is probably the most annoying to get to. First, you must venture to the Eye of Ashara, and not the dungeon version, but the island off the coast of the Broken Isles. You'll be going to a tricky underwater cave this time, so I recommend you bring a spell or item to give you underwater breathing, just to be sure you can reach the cavern, or go there with the druid character. Get to the coordinates 79.52, 89.31, Use your item or spell and look for a shipwreck. Swim underneath it and enter from the bottom. Then swim through the ship as shown in this video until you reach a clump of seaweed. Swim through and you should discover the hidden entrance to the underwater cave. Yes, tricky. Once you're finally inside the cave, you can find the orb in the water to the far right, between some of the stalagmites. Congratulations, the worst is over and you're almost done. The tenth orb is luckily simple. Head back to Drakthul's encampment on the broken shore at 37.45, 71.64, right where you began your hunt. You should now see and be able to click on an orb on Drakthul's table. If you have clicked all 10 orbs in the correct order, upon clicking the final one, Drakthul will thank you and you will have successfully unlocked the world quest Danger Kuzumoth the Hungering for that character. Yay! Now, all you have to do is fly to Kuzumoth at around 46.96, 50.09 in the outdoor version of Eye of Ajara and take Kuzumoth out. As mentioned earlier, the world quest resets every two weeks and the reward should change. The world quest itself should tell you which reward is up for that reset. So, if you get the pet, the Hungering Claw, you can come back two weeks later and try for the mount. Both the mount and the pet are a 100% drop, but only one can drop at a time. So, best of luck. And that is how you unlock Cosmo the Hungering and obtain the Fathom Dweller mount and the Hungering Claw pet. 
I hope this guide proved useful for you. I wish you the best of luck in obtaining both items. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. If you didn't, you probably lived already. Remember, I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday here on YouTube, so stop by for a chat if you want. Till then, take care and have a nice day.